think I'll have it running in another week or so. Alright, here's the tool I'm going to use for boring out the uh, drilled hole. You can see it's a uh, ground 9 16 high speed steel. Drop that in, lock it down. Let's see, I'm running um, 725 RPM. You can hear it cutting. I'll run this in by hand. I don't know where it's going to stop. Heard it hit bottom. Back it out a little. Oh, that's a little tight. Take another uh, couple of thousandths off. I'm moving it in with the handle right down there so I hear it hit. Cutting. I'm going to take uh, four thousandths off. This doesn't have to be real pretty, it's going to be on the inside, and I have to put the groove in there yet. But it's sometimes nice to have a, uh, a good finish in there. In case you have to uh, relocate the part later and use an indicator on it. Oh, snug, but it goes in. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna hold on that. That that looks pretty good. Now I got to figure out how to cut the groove. Just use the parting tool to cut out this uh, groove right here. The idea being just to define how long the thing is going to be because I have to cut inside here now and I'm going to have to set some tools. So I wanted to know how long it was going to be. This is actually a little wider than it's going to be but I gave it a little extra. Alright now I'm going to set up to uh, cut the groove and this is the uh, tool I'm going to use. Maybe you remember I used it for uh, internal threading if you watched uh, my moped video. And I'm not going to be threading, but it's just about the right shape to go in there and uh, gouge out uh, internally. Uh, I don't have to go real deep, uh, just to make a space for the uh, oil to flow. Okay, I've got the uh, boring tool in here, and it's on the outside of the part, and I brought it down to where I thought I wanted to stop. Then I installed this, which you can see is just a uh, piece of metal, C-clamp to the ways. So when you get there, you kind of hit a stop, which means I can't cut any further than when I hit the stop, so I won't go into the place where I don't want to be. I've been wanting to put a real stop on this lathe, uh, micrometer stop for years, but uh, never, never got around to it. Oh well, <laughs> I'll do the other end uh, by eye. So I'm going to come in. So now I've cut a little groove inside there. I cut a little uh, shelf here. You see it kind of goes back a little there because to fit on the motor I don't think it'll actually fit this wide so that'll be the bearing surface for the uh, copper washer the banjo bolts used to seal on uh, both ends. I think I'll round this part off right here a little bit, but I'm going to do that with a file. First the coarse file. And then a fine. I think I'll get the other side, but i got to wait a minute on that. <clears throat> I think I'm going to cut a little relief down in here too. I'll use the parting tool on that. Uh, that way when I part it off it'll have this little shelf on that end too. Okay, I'll move the carriage into position. You can 
see I'm well on my way to parting it off, so I'm going to take it down a little over here. Now that I got a bigger space in there, I got room to uh, put the file in. Isn't that pretty? The end of the piece is a little rough. I'm talking about right in here at this edge. So, let's put a tool in. I'm doing that by hand. Just like this. And rounding off the corner. And that's the tool I'm using. It's just an old triangular file which I sharpened and jammed into a uh, piece of scrap brass. You can buy these. They're called scrapers. Very handy to have. And now you see that edge right around there is, is off, nice and rounded off and smooth. Nobody will get cut, no burrs will be raised. Move the carriage over, turn on the lathe, and move it in, part it off. Find the edge, and then back off little remember I want to leave a shelf there so I'm going to back off about a sixteenth of an inch oh it's called a millimeter if you want half a millimeter now I'm going to come in and part this puppy off it should drop off I'm hoping for a nice clean finish but maybe not And I caught it on this uh, piece of metal because it's still hot, but there's the, uh, there's the parted off piece. I got the uh, part done. It's out of the lathe, obviously. And here's the, uh, here's the banjo part. Now, I don't have the uh, stem in there to put the hose on yet. That'll be the next, uh, next episode. As you can see, the uh, bolt goes through it pretty easy. There'll be a copper washer in there and a copper washer here and then you bolt it up into the, uh, the machine and the fluid coming in through here goes into the uh, internal little channel and through the bolt holes I'm going to have to drill in here which will be in like I said in the next uh, in the next part of this video. I have to move over to the milling machine and I got to clean it off first guys. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.